Welcome again to Red Night of It's Okay to Be Curious. Like, share, and subscribe with that notification bell for future video uploads and drop a comment. West Indies versus Australia second test day two. Who would have thought? The West Indies is back. After two days of cricket, West Indies in the first inning scored 311. All out. Australia declared for 289 for nine. And then the West Indies at the end of play. And on day two, 13 for one. This is some real game playing here, but for Australia, they had two bad days. West Indies had two good days. And I must be willing to say when I'm when I'm wrong, but I want to be wrong. I would love to be wrong. I said that Australia would win this match and I, I want to be wrong. But right now, I'm loving what I'm seeing from the West Indies. I'm not saying I'm jumping on any wagon. I want the West Indies to win. This is one time I would love to be wrong. So the West Indies, I said in the previous video that the West Indies batsmen when they make when they face over a hundred balls we see a lot of success from them we see a lot of success from them and I, I'm looking at the comments Blair Boyd is saying that you know what it, it doesn't make sense the, the batsmen need to be out there and scoring freely I do agree but we also realize that the batsmen who spend a lot of time at the crease they put the pressure back on the bowlers Right. Now, in the first innings, we saw where Kavim Oj faced 194 balls, scored 71 runs. We saw where the Silva faced 157 balls, scored 79 runs. Kevin Sinclair, he scored, he scored a half century using 98 balls. And even Kemar Roach, he spent he faced 40 balls now what's significant about these 40 balls even though he only scored eight runs it was that it allowed the west indies tail enders when they have three wickets only to use almost 12 overs so kemar roach lost his wicket in the 104th over so it took them 20 overs to get a wicket towards the end because these two 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 batsmen Kevin Sinclair and Kemar Roach they were out there using up a lot of balls this was putting the pressure on Australia so Australia when they went in they had to try to score quickly right to make up but the Australians they started losing wicket and that's what's significant because we could also apply the same analysis to the Australian team Australia there is only one batsman who faced who faced 131 balls only one batsman who faced over 100 balls right and another who faced 49 and another who faced 73 so Alex Carey faced 49 balls 65 runs um, Pat Cummins not out faced 73 balls and he made 64 runs so they were scoring faster they were aggressive they wanted to to score fast so that they could just just even up the score but the pressure was on because the runs was already on the board and they were trying to score fast but the West Indies bowlers they were up to the pit task as a result it's looking really really good for the West Indies even though the live probability is showing that the Australia have an 80% chance of winning this is historical we're using the historical fact historical data Australia look, come back usually and they win right so at the end of play West Indies they lost one wicket for 13 runs so the Australians they declared even though they were trailing they declared with eight overs to go because they thought that eight overs would have been enough for them to cut into the West Indies lineup not so it wasn't going to happen right so overall the West Indies they are looking good and once again if we look at the balls the guys faced 26 and 20 balls respectively um, they only had eight overs so this was good use of the ball there there is a time when you need to bat slow slow the game down to keep your wicket frustrate the bowlers come back fresh um, the next day this is one of those time I'm sure that for those who watched the previous video, they will be saying, hey, you know what? You said a lot of stuff, mostly negative, and you weren't um, being really supportive 
I am supportive. But I'm also analyzing the, the historic data that um, Australia and West Indies have. And from what the history shows, this is unprecedented. The Australian team struggling against the West Indies, unprecedented, but very refreshing for me as a West Indian. And I'm sure for everybody else who supports West Indies, jubilation. And if we compare the India England um, match, one would be very excited to see that West Indies is holding their own against Australia. Now, to take a closer look at this innings, Australia versus West Indies, day two, Australia struggling, literally struggling with three days to go. The West Indies would be more than excited about how things are unfolding, knowing that they have the upper hand. Going into day three, they have an opportunity to bat a full day to put a good total on the board and knowing that their bowlers is behind them their bowlers are behind them now let's take a look at the warm-up match we saw where Kevin Hodge had a good warm-up match the silver he scored a century in that one um, Shamar Joseph he had an opportunity to represent himself well um, Kevin Sinclair he played some good cricket and Kirk McKenzie and so far all those men who got their confidence going in the warm-up match they are playing good cricket right now Kurt McKenzie had a good first test um, Kevin Sinclair he's having a very good first test he's a bowler he got that significant breakthrough after that partnership you know the West Indies at one point they were they took 24 for 4 right and then it took them a little bit of time to get that fifth and sixth wicket but it was that it was that wicket of Kwaja that was so important and Kevin Sinclair got that wicket so it would have been an amazing feeling for Kevin Sinclair make, getting that breakthrough and as I said even though the team is on top if the batsmen are they are out there scoring runs and using the ball to frustrate the bowlers it can turn the match in the favor of the bowling team so the more that balls the more balls that a batsman face is the more they contribute to the team that's what i'm saying that what i was saying that's what i'm still saying because the australian innings showed that the, the one batsman who scored over 100 and over 100 balls use up over 100 balls he was able to help his team to recover even if it was just a little bit they get they got within touching distance of the West Indies total. The West Indies total was pretty much what theirs were before Roach and Kevin Sinclair put together a good little partnership and took it from them. So yes, I wanna say that so far so good for the West Indies. I'm sure that a lot of people would be saying that you know what? Your negative post yesterday this is proof that you have to be positive I'm absolutely positive and I wish that all the things that I say that is not as positive as it can be for to for the West Indies would get reversed because we need this victory absolutely need this victory all right rewrite the narrative like share and subscribe